So Halo Infinite's been out for almost two years now. Well, it was an unfinished mess. Campaign was mid, and the whole thing just felt like they wanted to make a passive income machine. I fucking love Battle Passes. So I come here to pose the question to you. After all four and a half of its Battle Pass seasons, is Halo Infinite good now? Because you gotta think, it's been out for almost two years, and I've been playing it on and off since it first came out. Between release day in December of 2021 and February of 2022, I put over 300 hours of it. I don't even know how I did that. I plateaued at Diamond 5, and I was like, alright, I'm done. I, I didn't play the game for like six months. Some of that is because, you know, I had to go to college. But, but the, there also just really wasn't that much going on in the game to return to. I mean, on release, it felt like there was like three and a half maps. You know, there wasn't anything like going on, which why I just grind it competitive. But then I would find myself screaming all day because some motherfucker wasn't watching our goddamn flag. Since I've been back, they added Forge, custom games, and they more recently added Infection to the game for Season 4. Which sounds nice, but shouldn't have all these things been released at launch with the game? I mean, I'm probably the last person in the world to make this point, but every Halo title that had Forge and custom games in it came out at the start with the game. Because back then you paid for the whole game. I would rather they release the game in 2024 and have a finished game instead of giving us like this heroin, drug addict, drip feed for the past two years. So you, you wouldn't think something like Infection would even be that complex to make. I mean, Infection was like the dragons in Game of Thrones. Guys, it's gonna be here. I swear it's gonna be here. It's gonna be here soon. And now that it's here, it's literally just Spartans with energy swords. It's not even like they were making something like really specific like they did with Halo 4. And they released that shit on release in 2012. So I, I really don't understand why it took them so long to make something like this. And it's really sad to see that Halo has become one of the prime examples that modern gaming is like an Orwellian experience these days. Like, is the gameplay fun? Yeah. You know, it's easily been like the best aspect of the game since it came out. Like, if, if the gameplay wasn't as wonderful as it is, then like, nobody would be putting up with this bullshit that we have going on. They added like one weapon to the game, which is just a Halo Reach DMR without the scope. So it's like not nearly as good or useful as the DMR in Halo Reach was. But some of the new maps are nice. That's, that's, you know, some of them feel pretty good. And some of them feel... Well, some of them feel pretty uninspired, but you know, that comes with a mixed bag of new maps. They added a progression system to the game outside of the battle pass, which I, I really always wanted. I really, like, I, I was always saying that. Like, that would have been nice at the start of the game. If that was at the start of the game, I probably wouldn't hero by now. They're giving up the season narratives, which is, which you know, those have always been kind of skewed to me. Because they made this whole campaign about Master Chief fighting the big red monkeys. And, like, they didn't have, you know, like, they didn't have to. And, and again, I'm, like, the last the last person to say these, these things but it was like you know it was like super mid like everything between halo 5 and infinite just like happened cortana's like dead now the infinity just blows like humanity's good like everything's fucked like everyone's like it doesn't even make sense like everything's over and master chief's like no oh, okay i got this. like master chief spends a whole campaign running through metal hallways and we just get left with more questions by the end of it like it doesn't really necessarily answer anything that we like want to know you get to choose your name then I think, I think I might have the perfect one. SHUT UP BITCH WE'RE GOING TO HALO INFINITE 2! GET HIM man! And then they started doing these narrative things in the battle pass. Cause I, I guess they looked at Call of Duty doing that and they were like, oh we should do that. But even, even those didn't end up making like any sense. Those went from like expanding the campaign of Modern Warfare to fucking Menendez walking off a helicopter with all the other Call of Duty villains holding a laser rifle. So, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm kind of glad that the team already said they're giving up on them. Like season eight, they would have had Sergeant Johnson walk off the Pelican with level six, being like, man, ain't it good to be back six? And then they're like, jump off the platform in an army breach. Like that, that would have happened if, we, if it had gone on too long, I, I guarantee it. Infinite in essence is a good game in theory. Because don't get me wrong, I really want it to be a good game. Everybody wants it to be a good game, you know? And to be fair, it is fun. Like, now it's- I, I would probably say it's more fun now. Um, like, if you just want a bare-bones time sinker that's fun with, like, a progression system to just, like, grind out, then, you know, they have that now. That is what it is. And the gameplay has always been good, so, you know, that's always been- you know, it's there. It's all there. There's a lot more game modes and things to choose in the game. But... Is it better? Like, yes, I guess it is better, but is it as good as a 16-person Halo Reach custom game you played with a bunch of strangers in when you were 12? No, it's not, but the state of the world and how video games are being made these days, I mean, 
we just gotta cut our losses. It's probably it's probably the best we're gonna get. Anyways, now onto the real video. It's time to figure out which Halo Infinite Brute is the strongest, the red or the blue. Let's figure it out, guys.